When a trap first shows up uh, for evaluation at our facility, um, the first thing we do actually is, is fire that trap a number of times to just see if it's actually mechanically operating properly. You know, sometimes the fact is that if it's a new prototype, you know, maybe after you fire that trap five times, it's, it's actually losing performance over a very short period of time. So, so we just do some very, very quick evaluations of that trap. Following that, we do a very detailed uh, mechanical evaluation of that device. Um, and this involves a set of five traps of the exact same type. And um, we look at the clamping forces of that trap. We look at the velocity of that trap when it's fired, um, the momentum of that trap. We take very detailed measurements of every component of that trap. And like I said, we do it on five traps. So we're actually looking at, you know, what is the variability that we see both within that trap design uh, and also across firing. So after it's been fired, you know, 10, 20 times, is it still consistent in terms of the, the momentum and the velocity and the clamping forces that, that it has? Um, you know, we have to know how that trap would perform in both those, those conditions. Um, for restraining traps, it's a little different. For restraining traps, we, we still do a mechanical evaluation of that device and measure all the components of it. But in addition to that for restraining traps, those traps then do go out into the field and they do live capture animals. And we look at the injuries that those animals sustain from those traps. And that's what we then use to evaluate how it does against the international standard.